Hi students, welcome to the session here by Infinity Learn by Shri Chaitanya. I'm Anirudha sir, your physics faculty over here. And today we are going to discuss about the details with regards to the KIITEE exam for 2024. We'll talk about what is the marking scheme like, what are the subjects involved, what their weightage are, including which colleges give admission to it and more such details over here. That being said, let's get started with those points. First and foremost, what is KIITEE? What's the full form of that? The full form is the Kalinga Institute of Industrial Technology Entrance Examination. So this is the name of the institute, Kalinga Institute of Industrial Technology. Where is this institute located? There is only one center for that and that is in Bhuvaneshwar. So KIIT becomes a good option for most students who are from the eastern region. But obviously you can access it from all over the country. Now, what type of exam is it? It's, going, it's a private exam, which means it is for a private engineering college. It's not for a government. It's not organized by the government. It does not give admission to government engineering colleges. The exam duration is of 150 minutes. So it's two and a half hours. It's less than JE means, which is three hours. So it's just two and a half hours. But as you will see, the questions that are asked are also lower in number. The exam is completely online. There's no offline or there's no hybrid options over here. It's completely online. And the language of the paper is set to English. You won't have options for Hindi or any other vernacular language over there. The type of questions are all going to be MCQs. There are not going to be any numericals over here. And there would be a total of 120 questions. So 120 questions that you will have to answer, 120 MCQs that you will have to answer in 150 minutes, which gives you an average of about 1.3 minutes per question. Now, <clears throat> that being said, you can prepare accordingly with regards to that time frame. The subjects are three and they're obviously physics, chemistry and maths, just like you have for J mains. There's no extra uh, English or logical reasoning like you might have with other exams. It's just the same 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 subjects that you have for your JE mains. The total number of questions, the all three subjects have equal weightage. It's 40, 40, 40 each of them. So like you say, like I said, there are a total of 120 questions over here. They are all MCQs and the marking scheme for them is going to be plus four and minus one, plus four for correct answers, minus one for incorrect answers and zero for the unattempted ones. This marking scheme is exactly the same like your JE means. You can give a total of three attempts per year. So like J means happens over two phases, a January phase and an April phase like that KIIT double E exam happens in three phases. The three phases are for phase one is from 20th to the 24th of March. For phase two, it's from the 22nd to the 26th of May. And the third phase happens in July from the 2nd to the 4th of July over there. Now the last date for the application for phase one is 10th March. So make sure you fill up the application forms in time. For phase two, it's on 10th May. And for phase three exam, it is going to be on 25th June of 2024. The result declaration is not yet confirmed. The tentative date for the April one is going to be April for the phase one, the phase two, phase three. Tentative dates also have not been provided yet. But for the phase one, tentatively, it's going to be someday in the on April of 2024. If you want more details about it, this is the official site over here, KIIT 2024 slash KIIT admission. You'll find it over there. So you can go and check it out in more detail in that case. Okay, so that's it from this session, students. I believe you got information about what the exam is. If you're interested in the exam, if the location or the type of college interests you, make sure you fill up the form, make sure you give the exam. Thank you all so much for enjoying this session. See you all again in the next one.